ultimate EFAs, I'd be doing nine of them a day. Now, if you're not absorbing, and very commonly as we get older, especially women get older, malabsorption of fats occurs. So you may take your fats but not benefit from them. So using supplements that can help you process and absorb and assimilate those fats is also important. Making sure you're using all your fatty vitamins and essential fatty acids with food, especially fatty food, and it wouldn't hurt you to throw in the ultimate enzymes with your fatty food and with your uh, vitamin E, A, and D, and ultimate EFAs. And then if you want, you can get yourself some extra bile salts, B-I-L-E, bile salts, and make sure you do the whole thing with apple cider vinegar to activate the enzymes and get yourself some, some uh, uh, help support stomach acidity. And then last but most certainly not least, uh, probiotics, good bacteria, play a major role in the absorption and digestion of fats. Now, if you have any digestive issues that are triggered by foods, you're going to want to eliminate those foods because food allergies can also cause disruptions in how that upper layer of your skin grows. But mostly you want to consider that you're not making or you're not processing fats correctly, either through a lack of intake of fatty vitamins and EFAs or a lack of absorption, and it has to do with the fatty layer on the very, very surface of the skin. The reason you're noticing it on your butt cheeks and the reason you're noticing on your hands is because those areas are rubbing against each other. And in the case of, the, of your hands, uh, you're, at, you're, you're using the palms of your hands a lot. So that area breaks down faster than other parts of the, uh, other parts of the body, the skin on other parts of the body. I got a bunch of calls here I want to get to. I hope I helped you out. Uh, one last thing. If you uh, use my Omega-6 healing cream, Truth Omega-6 healing cream on the area, that'll accelerate the healing. Thanks for your call, Virginia. I'm going to let you go, okay? Thank have you. A beautiful, have a beautiful day. All right, let's go to uh, Carol in Baltimore. What's up? Welcome to the Bright Side, Carol. Hey, hi, thanks. Hey, hey, what's going on? Uh, well, I've got a question about my sister, and then I've got a question about me. Sure. Um, my sister uh, loves doctors. Loves, okay. loves, loves doctors. Okay, okay. That's all right. And doctors so need love, gotten... too. We beat up on doctors a lot. They need some loving, too. We all need love, including okay. doctors. Okay. Okay. All right, so... Yes, go um, ahead. So far, they've got her uterus, and they just got her gallbladder. And I'm afraid the next thing will be her thyroid. Um, she had terrible, terrible gallstones, so she had emergency gallbladder surgery. So they've got that now. But she, for years, she's been on estrogen replacement, and then she went on thyroid. And they had her taking calciferol, which I just got her off of. But I'm wondering if any of those things caused the gallstones. Hello? Hello? the middleman out, I can stop doing all these stupid regulations and nothing but nonsense that jacks up the price. That's going on across the country. And what there's another little pearl that people don't know about called medical cost sharing. It's, in, it's written into the Affordable Care Act, but nobody ever talks about it. What it is is a consortium of self-pay patients who join together, cover their own health care expenses, and they're parallel to the system. They're able to access the real 
cost of health care, which are about a third of what people are paying now. And I joined and I put my office staff on it because I personally cannot deal with the insurance industry. So I'm having the most expensive policy, which is $199 a month. I pay a total of $500 out of pocket per year, and I'm covered up to a million dollars per occurrence per year, and I can go to any doctor, any hospital that I want. And I also get benefits for holistic care as well. So if I want to do Qigong or Reiki or whatever I choose to do, it's covered. That's the alternative that exists now. Patients need to know that it exists so they can make an informed choice, and that's what the book teaches people. Now, uh, Nat, tell me about this insurance program again, or tell the listeners like how they, because I'm sure a lot of people are going to be interested sure. in this. It's called Liberty, um, Liberty Health Share, and okay. if people go to libertyoncall.org, they can learn all about it. It's not new. It's been around for about 18 years, but it was a small organization, but it, it, it morphed into a more inclusive, anybody who's liberty-minded, anybody who wants to take responsibility for their own health and will voluntarily cover somebody else's, their, their members' health care needs. And this so is all on your website? Come, this it's is, all this on the is... website, so is the link. But it's, it's the future, and it's actually your choice that you don't have to do the Affordable Care Act if you don't want to. You don't have to go to Aetna or Cigna or any of these other insurance companies, because trust me, they're becoming too big to fail. And the more power they get, the more they charge you, the less they pay the physician, the worse the care is going to be. Wow, Dr. George, you are doing some super, super work. I can't tell you how grateful I am as a fellow healthcare professional for what you're doing. Just awesome stuff. The book Thank is Big Medicine, Dr. Elena George. And then uh, it's Dr. Dr. Elena George.com. Dr. Elena George.com. Check out our blog and uh, check out our website. And also Liberty Health. That's really cool information. LibertyOnCall.org. And then also the Association of American Physicians and Surgeons, AAPSOnline.org. Thank you so much, Dr. George. Have a, Thank have you a great day. Me. Good to talk to you. You too. Okay. Bye bye. Okay. Bye bye. Yeah, that's uh, LibertyOnline.org. I highly suggest you check them out if you don't want to be dealing with Obamacare. And then also AAPSOnline.org, and that's the Association of American Physicians and Surgeons. Check out Dr. George's website. All this information is up there, plus her blog, DrElenaGeorge.com. All right, that's all the time we have for today. I'm Pharmacist Ben. Have yourselves a spectacular, awesome, awesome day. We'll talk to you all later, folks. Bye for now.